Hi guys, in this video I am going to show you three different kinds of visualizations we can do with Tableau with the same file. And this file is a list of revisions to two different Wikipedia articles and you can download it uh, in the description down below. The purpose of this example is basically to show you that when the data is rich enough, you can do different things with it and you can follow the steps with the file if you want. Let's start by looking at how Tableau has passed the data. The columns seem well formed. Latitude and longitude, mm, interesting, these are seen as geographical stuff. You have a small R. The timestamp is a date and time. We have a small calendar. There's still something I would like to change. It's in this file that is a list of revisions. I have identifiers, so some of the columns identify the revisions and or the, the user. That's the purpose of user ID and revision ID, for instance. Those are technically numbers, but they are more like a, a key, a signature, something that identifies. I don't want it to be approximated or it doesn't count anything. So I would rather have it treated as a string, so as text, even though it's technically numbers. So I'm going to do that this way, change the revision ID as a string, same for parent ID, which is the ID of the parent revision, and same for user ID. So those are now seen as strings, which is better for me. Let's move to visualizing data. The first thing I want to do is a timeline, simple, those are edits, so I can count the edits. Um, the thing that identifies the revisions is the revision idea. So if I count those, then I count the revisions themselves. So I could have that uh, in my vertical axis so I, as rows. And I could have the time, which is in the column timestamp, as the horizontal axis. I could see that at the granularity level of the month. I would rather have bars. I don't like too much these uh, uh, lines when I have many spikes. I don't like the borders when they are so small bars, so I'm going to remove them. And I would like to compare the, the articles, actually, because I have two different articles in there. So I could show that as colors, but it's not very readable. I'd rather have that as oh, two different charts, actually. OK, good enough for me. This is the timeline. I'm not going to dig into the interpretation here. I'm just showing stuff. So next thing we want to do, or I want to do, is a list of uh, the top contributors. So after looking at the revisions as something we can look into who, so the people. The people are, for instance, behind the user idea. Um, let's make a list. So a list is vertical, so this is going to be my vertical axis. And here I bump into a difficulty, which is that I would expect to have a list, and instead I have kind of a bar chart. And that's because Tableau considers for the moment the user ideas as something that counts, and not as something that describes. Um, this is a kind of a subtle nuance, but Tableau reacts differently to different kinds of attributes, and the attributes are either dimensions, things that describe, or measures, things that count. The dimensions are in blue and they are stored on the, on the top of the attribute stack here, and the measures are in green and then they are in the bottom. But this is not something that is uh, inherently in the data, it depends on the context and what you want to do with it, so in this case, I want that seen as a dimension, and I can just change it here. Or I could just sort it here. I could say, OK, the user idea is now a dimension. I'm not going to do it. Uh, good enough for the moment. I just want to have the revision ideas as my x-axis. So now I have kind of a big bar chart. And I want to sort it because I want, I'm interested in the top. So I can just conveniently click on this button and now it's all sorted. My top user is the user of user ID 0, which is probably deleted user, so I don't know. 
but I'm, I want to remove that, so let me just do it with a simple filter on user ideas. Chook. Um, okay, now I have an issue. So now, now I'm going to change that as a dimension because I don't want to count anything. Yes, that's what I want. So I'm going to select specifically zero and exclude that guy from the data set. I mean, for the visualization. Good, that's what I wanted to see. So the top user has 93. Oh, let me just do something else. Add a label for readability. So by doing so, we can see directly how many revisions have each user contributed to. Now, let's look into uh, latitude and longitude since we have these columns. Let's make a map. I'm going to start with latitude and longitude. So latitude is going to be my vertical axis and longitude my horizontal axis. And I'm going to plot the, I guess, the revision ideas. Same as before, this has to be a dimension because it doesn't count anything. There are just different things. So these are going to be my, my, my data points, my, my points. So this goes into detail. Yes. Pretty good. I could plot the article as color. That helps, but it's a little bit too much overlap, so I'm going to tune the size to small. Yeah, why not? This makes me think that here too I could see the articles. I'm interested in that. Yeah, okay. So some users have contributed to only one article or the other, or but some have contributed to multiple articles, which is interesting to me. But okay. Let's not dig too much into the interpretations. I've done my three different visualizations. They show different things. And now I might just uh, export them as images and annotate them and, and, and go further into this process. But that's it.